Tommy, Tommy, how could you? How could you, Tommy? What's going on? Tommy has been taking contraceptive. She doesn't want to get pregnant. Who told you? Remember the day you sent me to get your passport? I searched through your closet. I was shocked when I saw the drugs. I thought you guys were on family planning. Then I noticed something, something strange. You disguised everything. At that point, I knew what you were up to. I ran out. I ran out to get some pain relief that looked almost like your medicines. I flushed them and replaced them all. I'm sure you didn't try to check because you never thought it was possible for anyone to find out. Tommy, I think you went too far. If you did not want to have children, why did you get married? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You were all married. And Jane, my twin, was married too. And what does that have to do with us? Tammy, we prayed. We fasted. We even cried when your mother-in-law was embarrassing you with childlessness. Little did we know that you didn't even need miracle. Tell me why. I'm just so scared. I don't want to die. Tell me. People just don't die in labor. Yeah. We chose the wrong hospital for Jane. That was what happened. That doesn't mean you should live the rest of your life without children. The labor is still very painful. Tell me, look, I understand. But the pain is not compared to the joy you feel from a crying baby. Thank you. You will go through it. It's okay.
traveled. I dropped my father off at the airport. That wasn't meant to travel. Um. Don't worry, don't worry, all right? Enjoy your black boots delicious, all right? When you're done, I'll be downstairs. Hmm? You could have come to my place now. Oh God, I don't like putting you in trouble. But you know I couldn't make it to your place. Someone needs to pick gifts in school. You need to go now. You need to go now. I'll just go out there. His arrogant son or his beautiful wife. Besides, you have no proof. <laughs> you amuse me, woman. You actually thought I was going to confront my dad with empty words. You lie. Bear out your meanings. Okay. For 20 to 30 minutes, I was standing by that door, but you just didn't notice. Oops, I understand. You were carried away with whatever it is you were doing, but unfortunately, I was standing there with my friend, and guess what? Every damn thing you were doing was recorded right here in this phone. <laughs> so you see, <laughs> I got you. I see. You know, your dad told me how annoying you can be. And I pleaded and begged for your return. My mistakes. You don't deserve to be here. But I'm here now. I'm here now, that's all that matters, young woman. I don't have time to alter words with you. I give you two days. You heard me? Two days and I shall have a word with my father. Jake? 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 This is not acceptable. Totally unacceptable. And if Father hears about this, you are messed up. How, how could you, woman to woman? Ah, ah. This thing is not in our family. Me, I don't know where you went to learn it from. Even God detests this kind of thing. God can destroy a marriage because of same-sex indulgence. That is why he destroys Sodom and Gomorrah, because of this same thing you are doing. Tammy, Tammy, you don't understand. You don't. Look, I thought this was better than going for another man. Besides, Chief, Chief is not trying. Chief hasn't touched me for four years now. Eh? And you think what you are doing is not adultery? Eh? Once you allow yourself sexual pleasure with a third party, be it man or woman, it is adultery. In fact, and there is punishment for it. Your own is even double punishment because it's um, um, adultery and uh, homosexuality. Uh -uh. Where did you even learn it from? This thing is not in our family. What do we do now? How can you be asking her that kind of question? 
The girl has to do what she has to do. The guy is blackmailing her. It's between the devil and the Red Sea right now. My dear, you make up your mind if you want to have fun or consider losing your marriage because I know Chief will not falter in throwing her things out of the house when James tells him. And Daddy will throw you back at him. His commandment is once you get married, you stay there. You carry your cross to the end. No going back. She wants to listen to her. She's not the right person to give you advice concerning this kind of situation. Would you, would you rather sleep with father and son? Your stepson. Your own stepson. That is total abomination. Abomination is when a man marries a beautiful woman like this. Look at my sister. And he doesn't touch her. Is she a piece of furniture? Eh? Is she a piece of furniture? Even the Bible you're talking about, God killed Onan for having improper sex. My dear, have fun, okay? This whole thing is not a joke. This is not, she, you should not listen to her. It's not a joke. The best thing to do right now, if your husband comes back, if Chief comes back, go on your knee, beg him, apologize and confess your sins. Oh, you guys are just turning my case into arguments. Look, I need help. No, I'm, I'm, you, I'm giving you useful advice here. Tammy hasn't said anything useful. Ah, wait, I'm only asking her to choose between acid and alcohol. You are giving her acid to drink. Don't listen to her. Do what is right. If you want to keep your home, do what is right. Apple, confess your sins to your husband. Don't do this thing, oh. Don't go and sleep with father, father and be sleeping with son. Tammy, I'm scared. I am scared. Look, have you forgotten what happened the last time I told Chief that I gave a man my number? He sent me packing. And trust that now, calling me all sorts of names. He even gave me the last warning. I feel like killing myself mm -hmm. now. I feel like killing myself. Mm -hmm. Now you are talking. That is the best option, to kill yourself, because that is what Tammy wants you to do. Naomi, I'm your sister. If I don't tell you the truth, nobody will tell you. Don't listen to what um, Irene is saying. Calls um, your girlfriend, your lesbian partner. <laughs> what's her stupid name? What's that her name again? Freda. Freda. Mm -hmm. Freda or whatever her name is. Give her money. Tell her to go far away from you. She should not come close to you. Let her just go. Pay her money for, for the future. Whatever times you guys want to spend together. Pay her for let her go far away from you. That's the best thing to do. That sounds like hope. Use your, use your tongue to count your teeth. Hmm. I even I enjoy the thought of a woman. Baby, please take this. No. Please, take it, please. I, I can't take it. I beg you, please. No. Please, just take it, please. I beg you, please. Okay? This isn't fair. Naomi, this is unfair. Mm. I gave you my heart. I gave you my everything. I told people to back off because of you. It's barely few months. Few months, Naomi. Sweetie, I understand. Trust me, I understand. And I, I am so sorry. I am very, very sorry. Okay? Look, you are a beautiful woman. I believe... Mama, hurry up. Say that to the hospital right now. It's not serious. Have this. Oh. But I'm, I'm saying we should, we should go to the. No worries. She's still weeks pregnant. That's what? okay, okay. What? Baby, yeah, you know. 
Tammy, Tammy, how could you? How could you, Tammy? What's going on? Look. Tammy has been taking contraceptive. She doesn't want to get pregnant. Who told you? Remember the day you sent me to get your passport? I searched through your closet. I was shocked when I saw the drugs. I thought you guys were on family planning. Then I noticed something, something strange. You disguised everything. At that point, I knew what you were up to. I ran out. I ran out to get some pain relief that looked almost like your medicines. I flushed them and replaced them all. I'm sure you didn't try to check because you never thought it was possible for anyone to find out. I, mean, I think you went too far. If you did not want to have children, why did you get married? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You were all married. And Jane, my twin, was married too. And what does that have to do with us? Tammy, we prayed. We fasted. We even cried when your mother-in-law was embarrassing you with childlessness. Little did we know that you didn't even need miracle. Tell me why. I'm just so scared. I don't want to die. Tell me. People just don't die in labor. Yeah. We chose the wrong hospital for Jane. That was what happened. That doesn't mean you should live the rest of your life without children. The labor is still very painful. Tammy, look, I understand. But the pain is not compared to the joy you feel from a crying baby. Thank you. You will go through it. It's okay.
traveled. I dropped my father off at the airport. I wasn't meant to travel. Um, don't worry, don't worry, all right? Enjoy your black but delicious, all right? When you're done, I'll be downstairs. Hmm? You could have come to my place now. Oh God, I don't like putting you in trouble. But you know I couldn't make it to your place. Someone needs to pick gifts in school. You need to go now. You need to go now. I'll just go. I'll take care of it. You just need to go. His arrogant son or his beautiful wife. Besides, you have no proof. <laughs> you amuse me, woman. You actually thought I was going to confront my dad with empty words. You lie. Bear out your meanings. Okay. <coughs> For 20 to 30 minutes, I was standing by that door, but you just didn't notice. Oops, I understand. You were carried away, whatever it is you were doing. But unfortunately, I was standing there with my friend. And guess what? Every damn thing you were doing was recorded right here in this phone. <laughs> so you see, <laughs> I got you. I see. You know, your dad told me how annoying you can be. And I pleaded and begged for your return. My mistakes. You don't deserve to be here. But I'm here now. I'm here now, that's all that matters, young woman. I don't have time to alter words with you. I give you two days. You heard me? Two days and I shall have a word with my father. Jake? 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 This is not acceptable. Totally unacceptable. And if father hears about this, you are messed up. How, how could you, woman to woman? Uh -uh. This thing is not in our family. Me, I don't know where you went to learn it from. Even God detests this kind of thing. God can destroy a marriage because of same-sex indulgence. That is why he destroys Sodom and Gomorrah, because of this same thing you are doing. Tammy, Tammy, you don't understand. You don't. Look, I thought this was better than going for another man. Besides, Chief, Chief is not trying. Chief hasn't touched me for four years now. Eh, hey, and you think what you are doing is not adultery? Eh? Once you allow yourself sexual pleasure with a third party, be it man or woman, it is adultery. In fact, and there is punishment for it. Your own is even double punishment because it's um, um, adultery and uh, homosexuality. Uh -uh. Where did you even learn it from? This thing is not in our family. What do we do now? How can you be asking her that kind of question? 
The girl has to do what she has to do. The guy is blackmailing her. It's between the devil and the Red Sea right now. My dear, you make up your mind if you want to have fun or consider losing your marriage because I know Chief will not falter in throwing her things out of the house when James tells him. And Daddy will throw you back at him. His commandment is once you get married, you stay there. You carry your cross to the end. No going back. She wants to listen to her. She's not the right person to give you advice concerning this kind of situation. Would you, would you rather sleep with father and son? Your stepson. Your own stepson. That's total abomination. Abomination is when a man marries a beautiful woman like this. Look at my sister. And he doesn't touch her. Is she a piece of furniture? Eh? Is she a piece of furniture? Even the Bible you're talking about, God killed Onan for having improper sex. My dear, have fun, okay? This whole thing is not a joke. This is not, she, you should not listen to her. It's not a joke. The best thing to do right now, if your husband comes back, if Chief comes back, go on your knee, beg him, apologize and confess your sins. Oh, you guys are just turning my case into arguments. Look, I need help. No, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you useful advice here. Tammy hasn't said anything useful. Ah, wait, I'm only asking her to choose between acid and alcohol. You are giving her acid to drink. Don't listen to her. Do what is right. If you want to keep your home, do what is right. Apple, confess your sins to your husband. Don't do this thing, oh. Don't go and sleep with father, uh, uh, father and be sleeping with son. Tammy, I'm scared. I am scared. Look, have you forgotten what happened the last time I told Chief that I gave a man my number? He sent me packing. And trust that now, calling me all sorts of names. He even gave me the last warning. I feel like killing myself mm. now. I feel like killing myself. Mm. Now you are talking. That is the best option, to kill yourself, because that is what Tammy wants you to do. Naomi, I'm your sister. If I don't tell you the truth, nobody will tell you. Don't listen to what um, Irene is saying. Cause um, your girlfriend, your lesbian partner. <laughs> what's her stupid name? What's that her name again? Freda. Freda, mm -hmm. Freda, or whatever her name is. Give her money. Tell her to go far away from you. She should not come close to you. Let her just go. Pay her money for, for the future. Whatever times you guys want to spend together. Pay her for let her go far away from you. That's the best thing to do. That sounds like hope. Use your, use your tongue to count your teeth. Hmm. I even I enjoy the thought of a woman. Baby, please take this. No. Please take it, please. You I can take beg it. you, please. No. Please just take it, please. I beg you, please. Okay? This isn't fair. Naomi, this is unfair. Mm. I gave you my heart. I gave you my everything. I told people to back off because of you. It's barely a few months. Few months, Naomi. Sweetie, I understand. Trust me, I understand. I, I am so sorry. I am very, very sorry. Okay? Look, you are a beautiful woman. I believe someone will come for you in no time. Try and give yourself a man. Some men may not value you. But some will value and cherish you. And trust me, sweetie. When you see a man, a real man that loves you, you will forget about this substitute. No. No, I love you. It is you I love. Please come back. Please. I need you back in my life. We can hide in two stops. We cannot hide enough. Understand me? We cannot hide enough. Can't you see? My marriage is my pride. And as you can see, it's already at stake. Please. I need you to let me go. And you know I would do this for you if I was in your shoe. Please. Okay. It's okay. But just know that you have a friend in me. You can call on me anytime, any oh, day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chief, let's watch something else now. This is boring. Oh, let's just see what is going on in the world. Let's, let's see.
Hello, Dad. Yes. How are you? I'm good. Um, there is something I need to discuss with you. What is it? Sir, speak to your father. Um, <laughs> it's about Naomi. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dad, I, I don't know how this will sound, but I just, I just have to say it, you know. That Naomi has been stressing herself of late. I mean, the stress is becoming too much. Okay, for example, yesterday, she cleaned up the entire house, starting from upstairs, downstairs, including the balcony. This work is becoming too much. Uh, I'm thinking it's about that time we, we hire a, a housemaid. So, so the, the workload will be less. Hmm. I've talked about that already, but uh, Naomi refuses a maid. You don't worry. Your days, uh, Winnie, will be coming back home from school very soon. Uh, so Naomi will no longer do all the job alone. Okay? Okay, uh, that's all right, Dad. Uh, I, was, I was just concerned and showing my care. Oh, thank you for your concern, son. <laughs> Good son. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He cares. <laughs> he does. Uh -huh. Cutting what you wanted. Can I have the videos and pictures so that I can destroy them? <laughs> Look at you. Don't tell me you believe all those cock and bull stories about videos and pictures because I did not. You heard me. I did no pictures, no videos. Hey, hey you, you see, if you don't give me those pictures and videos now, I will do what you will not like. I don't care anymore. Give them to me now! You are yelling at your new boo, babe. Take a good look at me. You're talking to me. Okay. Have you forgotten the other day at the living room you wanted to take pictures of your daughter? And I said my phone was back to town. How am I supposed to take a picture or a video? Hmm? <laughs> oh my god, my god. I got you on that one. Hmm? I know you hate me right now. I know you feel like strangling me, killing me and all of that, but what would you have me do? I like you a lot. I couldn't keep it to myself. I need to show it. What, what, what are you doing with my dad? He's old. All right, you need a fresh- Oh, you shut up! That's kind of sexy, you know? <laughs> Now you can come back. 
Try to make it in 10 seconds. Let's go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> yeah, you are the best in the world. Do you agree to that? Gift, go prepare for your class. Your tutor is almost here. Yes, mom. All right, I'll see you later. Take a seat first. I'm gonna be sleeping now. Just. Okay. And what is the meaning of that? Stay away from my daughter. She's also my sister. You should have considered that the day you chose your terms. Come on, babe. Are you still going back to that? I already said I'm sorry. Look, I, I did everything I did because I like you. I never took advantage of you. Look, if you were trying to make trouble with me, it would only make me fall in love with you over and over again. You have no idea how beautiful you look when you're angry. Can I get a thank you? Thank you? You're welcome. You are a fool. That sounds like you are a bull to me. <laughs> Here we go again. You were swinging that shit all the Fun, I approve. But falling in love, you're on your own. I don't know if it's love yet, but I think I feel something. See, you lose that feeling, okay? That's his common sense leaving you. Look, Irene, I don't even know what is wrong with me. Irene, I don't sleep well. I can't even concentrate. He is everywhere in my head. I know he's a crazy guy, but trust me, he's so romantic. Has touched my soft spot. Wait, wait, wait. Now, now, wait. Do you want to actually continue sleeping with your son? Not my son. Stepson, please. Whatever. It just sounds disgusting. I just drop in my mouth. And if you don't throw up, that food will still kill you. Do you think everything is all about jokes? I just asked you to help me. Help me. How did you know I was eating? <laughs> Alright, seriously. Let's be serious. I have one advice for you. That is, develop hatred for this guy. Yeah, pick up a fight, whatever, just do something. Just try and distract yourself. Nah, no deal. Oh. However, it's, it just sounds disgusting. Can we change topic? Don't even talk about this. It's not even a topic to talk about again. I don't know. I beg, I'm in a job. No, it irritates my body. Yeah, for the meantime, make use of your deal, though. Mm. Mm. Watch a porn, entertain yourself. <laughs> I'm giving you a sisterly advice. <laughs>
Watch my back. Watch my back. If I could find someone, I can give me everything I need to smile. Oh, need to smile.
Dad, you're awake. Uh, what's the matter? Did you see Naomi? I mean, did you see her drive out? She's nowhere to be found. Oh, really? Uh, I, I thought she said she'll be staying late night with her, with her sister. Have, have you checked the garage if her car is back there? No. All right. Let me check. Uh, sorry. It's, it's, it's okay, Dad. Don't cut your sleep, my son. It's okay, Dad. You just try and catch some sleep. She'll be all right. All right. All right, good night, Dad. in the garden, Chief. I didn't want to wake you up. But I saw you going towards the garage and I thought you forgot something in the car. Go to bed, Chief.
How is your day going? Fine, thank you. This food is... Mm. <laughs> That's mine, you know? Mm. This thing is big. Wow. What if I poison that food? Man, you take a lot of risks. Knowing that a woman has your life at a single meal, yet you mess with her heart. I'm not going to kill you. I will just help you deal with your problems. At least that's what strong women do. You can go on and eat. I will not kill my husband because of a side chick.
tried to pay for fall in love It never looked like they could ever break your heart Why do people fall in love? It never looked like they could ever break your heart Fine, thank you. This one is. Mm. <laughs> That's mine, you know? This thing is big. Wow. What if I poison that food? Man, you take a lot of risks. Knowing that a woman has your life at a single meal, yet you mess with her heart. I'm not going to kill you. I will just help you deal with your problems. At least that's what strong women do. You can go on and eat. I will not kill my husband because of a side chick.
the paper fall in love It never looked like they could ever break your heart Why do people fall in love It never looked like they could ever break your heart Friends that look amazing, then they drive you crazy Now they want to leave you about to lose my mind Cause there's things I never told you Ooh, Why do people fall in love? Why do people fall in love? You see? You are even living in the car. Look, just, just, just look at you. Back up for me. You hey. see? See your life. He bought you a car because you don't have a house. Hey. Just let me. Hey. She poor. Hey. Look. on the way. Look. Hey. Stop this car, follow me. I am very sorry, please. You refused to pay your children's school fees because you said business was bad. I know how much I took from my father to assist your business. He took up your responsibility of paying your children's school fees and attending to my needs. And then you buy a car for a girl? Ben! You were not sorry. You were just a big fool. in my body as long as you're agreeing to have regular sex. But that being said, you're going to have to run a test or we'll use a condom till I'm sure of this marriage. Baby, it hasn't gotten to this yet. Oh, it has gone way past that. I want a pedigree check on your girlfriend, Juliet. You know what I found out? There is no big boy on the island she has not bent over for. You took your hard earned cash and you bought a car for a whore. You bought a car for everybody's boo. How impulsive. I'm sorry. I've said it before. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. But you will run that test.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Doctor, how are you? Very well. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Fine. So, what's up? Good. Do you want anything to drink? Uh, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's okay, I'm okay. It is positive. What is positive? HIV? Yes, HIV positive. But not you all. Just see. So are the kids. Just Mr. Penn. We had sex a few times. And after my stitches broke, I stopped him from touching me. My results came back negative, mine and the children. I guess he contacted it a couple of months ago. No, oh, wow. So, what are we going to do now? Hey, HIV is not malaria. <laughs> Confused. Confused. I really am. Maybe we should talk to Dad about you leaving the house with your kids. Uh, sounds like a good idea. But I love my husband. He's still my husband, isn't he? I'll just stay. I'll stay with him. I'll just try to be careful, that's all. It's okay, it's not a problem if you want to stay back, but ensure that there is no sex. Not even with Gondomo. No sex at all. Because we cannot lose you. Huh. God forbid, we cannot stand it. Look, know that condom protection for pregnancy is like 95%, but for HIV, my darling, it's 50%. 50. So you have to be very careful. I beg you. <laughs> it's okay.
How did you get in here? What do you want? Shabi, you've taken your husband. You also took the car. My car. What do you want from me now, this woman? Leave me alone. If they beat you, go home and cry to your husband. Just leave me alone. Let me be. I came to thank you for infecting my husband with HIV. What? God will punish you. The earth will reject your body the day you bury you. This pain you cost me will come back to you ten times over. Women struggle to build homes and young girls like you just go about destroying them in the twinkle of an eye. Why my husband? Have I done anything to wrong you before? May you be a curse to your family. And you will reap shame in everything you do. This boy will not do anything completely before filing it. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm I'm sorry. It's the devil's work. What is the difference between you and the devil? C -c -c Come on, Dad. I, uh, I'm sorry. I I I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to do all of that. I I, I didn't know what what came over me. I'm sorry, Dad. Please forgive me. Please, Dad. I'm sorry. A man cannot cut his skin. Because of eczema. I have forgiven you. But you have to leave this house and never return until I die. You have always wanted to disown me. No. I am 
trying to prevent reoccurrence. Stay away from me and my family. I don't know how you got her. Naomi is a good woman. You took advantage of her loneliness. I have a duplex that I got last year in Abuja. You go there. I will give you enough money for you to carry on. Is this it? This is it. Come on, Dad. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, don't make me change my mind. Don't make me change my mind. You go to Abuja. That's what I said. What kind of a son are you? People fall in love It never looked like They could ever break your heart Why do people fall in love It never looked like They could ever break your heart Where are you going to? There are no amount of words To express how sorry I am, Chief I know you will not forgive me. So I decided to save my energy to cry when I get home. You are a good man. You deserve better. I'm going to my sister's place to stay a while till I find a life for myself. Why do people fall in love? It never looked like they could ever break your heart. It's all my fault. I blame myself for everything. You are a good woman. I just felt I didn't love my wife enough. That's why she died of cardiac arrest. You see, those times I was always with you. She would cry her heart out. Even though I'm happy with you here, my heart has always been heavy with guilt. But I think it's time to let go of the past. With its nightmares, no still, let's fix things the way they were, my dear. We can. I love you. You're not going out? No. Mm. 
dia dah forgive me I don't hold any grudge against you You're still my husband But things will never ever be the same between us again So you can carry on with your Juliet and the rest of them if they are We don't care It doesn't matter to us anymore Are we going to Lekki? Yeah. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no fuel, no fuel. So we need to get fuel. gas. Hmm? We'll put fuel inside it. You put fuel? Yeah. Where's the money? I have. Bring the it's money. It's you. Is it me? We need to get gas. Ah. Junior, Zara, mm -hmm. that place is enough. Go to your room. I don't want to play with that anymore. I said, go to your room and read the books. So I can't play with my kids no more? Well, the place is very dangerous. I don't want them spilling blood. Blood? But I'm lonely. Well, you cannot take a ton of risk in this house anymore. I think I should take my children back to my father's place. Oh, I'm spilling Yami, Kinoche, what are you doing? Oh, Mama, I I'm trying to prepare food for us to eat. <laughs> Stress is not allowed in this house for you. Eh? As long as I am here, all you need to do is to eat, sleep, <laughs> wake up, and relax. No, I'm a very strong woman. I'm very, very strong. <laughs> you know, I cannot leave all the house chores for you to do. That's why I told my husband to get us a housemaid. Why do you refuse? My dear, I am not complaining. Leave that thing you are doing. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Just go and relax yourself. Hmm? Go and relax. You are going to make me very lazy. So <laughs> you are pampering me too much. Hey. This thing is not hard work. I, I can do it. Laziness is allowed in this house. It is not a sin to be lazy. Yeah? You just don't worry yourself. Go and relax yourself. Do, don't worry. Don't worry. I will do everything. Look, I bought some foods for you. I'll prepare them for you when you are ready to eat something. Okay. Just go and relax yourself. I should go. Oh my dear. <laughs> Cabo call me. <laughs> hey, Rorau, 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 you. Gently. Gently. Mm. Hey. Let me call me. I'm going to have a grandchild. Hey. Hey.
That's enough. I need my clear eyes to finish the job. you want to take his calls? Bear wants me to come over. I think it's time I set this right. And what's wrong with that? You've been avoiding him for days. Come on, are you guys fighting over something? You won't understand. Then talk to me. Ben test their positive to HIV. Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. What's that look for? Did you do anything with him? What sort of question is that? You guys share women. Oh. See, I don't do Ben's women with without protection. Come on, I went for my test too. It's negative. Here is it there. On the table. <sighs> Baby? Yeah. Look, you need to be very careful. Yeah, I know. Very, very careful. All right. I said I'm sorry. We're okay now, okay? Yeah, we well, are. I love you. Love you too. Ah. Ben, Ben, you really need to stop drinking. Well
I'll call you back, Jake. We just finished. Thanks for everything. Then the trap. 